Evening everyone, welcome back to the Daily Talk Show and it's your host Nime. So today we have a special guest joining us to educate us on Alzheimer's. Please welcome Tengele. Hi, thanks for having me here. So without further ado, let us cut to the chase and delve into the main topic for today. So Tengele, can you tell us a bit on what Alzheimer's is? Um. To briefly sum this up, uh, Alzheimer's is a progressive and irreversible disease that destroys memory and other important mental functions. So Alzheimer's disease mainly affects our memory. Can you elaborate more on how it affects an individual in the long run? Well, um, basically what Alzheimer does to an individual is it causes the brain to shrink and the brain cells to die. So the mental functions that get affected because of Alzheimer's is it leads to continuous decline in individual's thinking, behavior, and social skills that all in all affects a person's ability to function depend independently. Yeah. So um, side story, but I actually got to know better about the disease after my neighbor got diagnosed with it. And I actually remember my neighbor talk about uh, how his father would sometimes repeat statements and questions over and over again and um, forget conversation, appointment, or events that have happened even uh, like today's event like that. So he often would get lost in our neighborhood too. So it really struck me. And um, initially all of us thought this was just a sign of old age as you know, they're getting old. So. Uh, we weren't properly aware of it, yeah. I agree. We don't talk enough on these things. So to clear out the confusion and possibly get an early diagnosis, can you tell us the difference between normal aging and Alzheimer's? How can we make all the difference between the two? Oh, well, um, here is an easy cue for this. So, uh, so when you're old and you forget things, you remember what you forgot, but that usually isn't with the case with Alzheimer. This is the most common symptom of Alzheimer. Yeah. So the difficulty in remembering things that even happened today or yesterday, and particularly new information such as appointment you have made. And while people who are aging normally may forget things, they will typically remember them later in other words like you said uh, like I just said uh, you remember what you forgot that makes more sense now also here's another question can you tell us a bit on why it is important to recognize Alzheimer's and get an early diagnosis for it um getting an early diagnosis is important because that would mean it can help people with Alzheimer to have an access and relevant information, uh, sources and support, uh, make the most of their abilities and potential benefit from drugs and non-drug treatment available. So the sooner the better, right? And um, an early diagnosis also gives someone the chance to understand better on what is happening to them and their loved ones. So. Um, Moreover, the individual and their loved ones have the time to make their decision, proper decision and clear decision and plan for the future and allow access to treatment that can help manage symptoms. That is indeed a very valuable information for everyone listening at the moment. Well, time's almost up for us, but before we end, I've heard that on the 21st September, we celebrate the World Al Alzheimer's Day, so is there anything that you think we as individuals can contribute on our part? Uh, well, for me, uh, I think the first and the most important thing that we can do is talk and educate people more about what Alzheimer is and what are its symptoms. We can start talking about that from our family itself, our friends and relatives. We could start by talking about it even to one person, but you see one day it might and can go a long way in helping someone in seeking early medical help treatment and getting an early diagnosis. I am sure the listeners did learn something today. Let us indeed talk more about Alzheimer's to people around us. 
Sure, we might not have the superhuman strength and power to cure Alzheimer's, but we can still care and talk about it to people. This way, we will be able to create awareness of the effects of the Alzheimer's disease. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for today's What Did I Learn? Thank you, thank you for edu educating us on Alzheimer's, and it was lovely having you here. All right, uh, thank you for having me here. I really enjoy talking about Alzheimer's, and today it's 21st of September, so today is Royal Alzheimer's Day. So if you're listening to this, don't forget to educate people about what you learned today, and I am so happy that I am here to talk about it. And um, yeah, today if you get a time, just speak to someone else about what you learned today, and I think it will go a long way, yeah? Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye.